will use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make, a, that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son will that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of, of this font the grace of your Son. You created man in your own likeness. Cleanse him from sin in a new birth to innocence by water and the Spirit. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. It may look different, but this is a font. <laughs> may all who are buried with Christ in death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life, we ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear parents and Godfather, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, she is to receive the gift of new life from God, who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring her up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives her is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in her heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your baptism, reject sin, profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of your church. This is a faith in which this child is about to be baptized. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Yes. Do you reject the glamour of evil 